Hey, how's it going, guys? All right. So if you remember, um, when we we first designed our application within VS Code, so today we're gonna take some of these files, um, and um, convert them to um, what you call it to JSPs. So, but the first thing I need to do is convert all of the resource files that we need. So, if you you go to wherever you've set up your project, this is. Um, my current project it's sitting within um, this folder direct or this directory so I'm first going to copy the JS images and CSS files right um, yeah and then I'm going to come back here to our IntelliJ application and so um, here within the static folder um, over there I'm going to paste this uh, those files that are, those folders that I just copied and then um, you just say click OK, and then I'm just going to give it a chance to copy or copy all those folders here within the static folder. And then once it's done, we'll be back um, to set up all the other pages. All right, guys. So um, my uh, my my files are now copied over into the static folder. And then as you can see, we got the CSS files, um, images, JS, etc. So now before we create pages uh, we need to come back into our uh, let me just close these um, okay so we need to come back here within our application config so the there's something else that we need to add within here in order for our application to be able to find our CSS or let me just say our resources here okay so here at the top I'm gonna say um, uh, what is it add add resource handlers right right so you need that over there so then what we need to do is say register uh, registry dot add resource handler all right so now within here we're gonna say um c s s right um, just make sure to add those asterisks there and then we're gonna say um, what else we're gonna say images again make sure you add those asterisks then we're also gonna say JS forward slash double asterisks okay so CSS images and JS we're basically telling this that in any page where you find these um, folder paths um we are going to now then tell it as to where it can find it so we can say dot add um, resource locations and then in here we want to say class path right colon and then we're going to say remember it's a thing within the static right so it's going to be static okay and forward slash dot css and then forward slash and if we do, uh, we're going to do the same for the images and JS folders. So we're going to say, sorry, I'm going to paste that two more times. Okay, so in here, it's going to be JS. Um, then here, it's going to be images. Okay, and then that's practically it. Uh, public static, I mean static CSS, etc. So make sure how you named these here, it's exactly the same as what you have in here. Okay, so let's test now with the index page. So we're gonna come back um, to VS Code. Um, where's my VS Code? Okay, I don't know why it did that. All right, so we're gonna to come to VS Code. We're gonna start with the index page, right? So we're gonna say copy, and then we're gonna come back to IntelliJ. And then we're gonna paste all of that here within the index page. All right. All right. So let's see. Yeah, that's all we need. So let's first test with. Um, with this index page to see if it displays the view that we created when we were designing it within um, within uh, VS Code. So I'm gonna click 
all that over there i'm gonna pause the video while it deploys the application and then we'll be back to test all right guys so the server has been uh started so so far within the console there's no errors so let's see if now our index page shows our view okay so there you have it so this is um the page that we designed within our vs code so at least now we know that um here within the um our configuration here within the um uh, our application config file is um, set up correctly so you should be able to see the same if you've set it up the way i've done it so um now the next thing we need to do is the same thing for the what you call it the i think it's the login and the registration page so first thing i'm going to do is stop the server and close this All right so within here i'm going to say um login dot jsp and then um we're gonna say um register dot jsp okay so now what we then need to do is uh copy our styling that we done um, within here so we're gonna go to login copy everything we did there come back here and then paste it there uh, sorry we in the sorry we went into the registration page it's supposed to be the login page all right save uh, just delete if my miss if you didn't do that it's fine I made a mistake there all right so just make sure whatever you copy is in the right folder so Within the login, that's what we that's what we um pasted in there. All right, so coming back here, we're gonna come and copy the registration file. Uh, come back here again, and then we're gonna go into the registration page, paste that there. All right, so before we go to any other files, what else do we have within here? Oh, we also have the error page. Okay, so um. Sorry about that. Um, so in here we're gonna say file and then error dot jsp. Um, I just need to cancel this. I clicked on uh, Eclipse by mistake. Okay, and then here within the error page we're gonna copy everything we did, and then come back here again and paste it there all right so um, I think that's all we need so now I just want to create links for the login and registration so within the controller um, sorry in the controller you know what I think I'm gonna create those links within here so I'm gonna say um, at get Mapping. So this one is going to be login. Uh, sorry, don't forget to put a trailing slash there. A forward slash, I mean. So I'm going to say public and then model and view. And then we're going to say get login. Okay, and then in here we want to say model and view. Login page close to new, and then this one is going to be login. Okay, and um, what else? Let's out. Get login page dot um, add object in here we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna say page title 
then we're going to say login and here we just return um, get login page I'm just going to copy this as it is and this will say register and here we'll say Here we're gonna say get register page. So remember how you name your view, uh, the name that we set up here within this first, uh, within the parameter of the model and view is the name of the page. So if you've named your page register.jsp, um, you name it register.jsp. If the file was sitting within a folder, maybe let's say there was another folder within the JSP folder there, then let, you would, um, let's say, you would say something like folder name, folder name and then forward slash to wherever the um, the file is sitting so yeah but because ours is not sitting anywhere else it's sitting directly within the root that we set up uh, here within the app config all we have to do is just write the name of the view and then the suffix that we set up here will automatically will attach that to the file okay so now what we need to do is come back to the uh, come back to our pages so let's start here within the index so remember that there's two buttons um, so here we're gonna say register um, just to be sure register okay and then this one should be login Okay, and um, what else? Okay, within the registration page, remember we have a, um, a link that takes us to the login page. So here, we're gonna say login. Okay, and then remember we also have a button that takes us to the index page. So here, all we have to do is just put the slash over there. Okay, and then in the login page, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So here, we're gonna say to go back to the home page we want to say forward slash and in here we just have to say uh, register since I copied it earlier on I'm pasting it there okay so if we set up everything correctly here within the, con the index controller um, we should be able to go in between um, the pages all right so let's just run the application again and then i'm going to pause it we're going to come back and test and see if everything works um correctly okay the server is up and then uh, currently there's no errors within the uh, console so now let's go back to our application press enter okay so let's start off by uh, going to the registration page okay our registration page is working let's go back let's go to login all right so our login is also working so now let's test and see if when we click to sign up does it go to sign up it's going to sign up let's go back to sign in okay it's going to sign in when we click back it takes us to the um, um what you call it the what you call it front um the sorry the index page uh let's go to register and then when we click there it's also sending us to the um what you call it the index page so if you check within here we should see um the sysout statements that we set up within the um views themselves so as you can see registration login registration login index registration and then index okay so so far 
for the front end of our application everything is working fine um we didn't set up the let me see the error page we don't have to because this is only going to display once the uh, whenever the user is um, um whatever action the user is performing if there's an error it will redirect them back here the only thing that we can change in here is to send the user back to the login page and that's basically it nothing else from there all right so um yeah i think that's it for the um for the front end side we have everything uh working here we can go to register and login so the, the i think in the next video what we can work on is registering users within the system if i'm not mistaken yeah i think in the next video we're going to be working on um, setting up the model for our user and then um setting up also our email config and helper in order to um uh, what you call it register users along with sending emails okay guys so that's it for the video um again if you've liked what you've seen so far please don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys within the next video all right cheers for now